Assalamualaikum semua. Okay, uh, for this slide, uh, I will explain about 14.3, movement and locomotion. So, in this subtopic, we will learn about the movement and locomotion in bending of arm. Okay, walking for human. Mechanism of locomotion in animals such as fish, birds, a swarm, and grasshopper. Okay, <clears throat> for human, uh, uh, the mechanism of movement of human for arm involved bicep and tricep. So this is bicep, this is tricep. So bicep connected to the radius uh, through tendon and tricep okay, connected to the bone ulna through the tendon okay so during um, arm bending okay when the bicep muscle contract okay the pull force is transmitted to the radius through the tendon okay means Ada satu daya yang dipindahkan uh, apabila muscle ni contract akan ada satu daya dipindahkan melalui tendon kepada radius. Okay, menyebabkan okay, okay at the same time the tricep will relax. Okay, and then when the a pull force transmitted to the radius, so the radius will pull upwards, causing the arm to bend. Okay, why? During arm strengthening, okay, uh, vice versa, tricep contract, okay, when the tricep contract, the pull force is transmitted to ulna, through tendon. So, contracting muscle uh, produce pull, uh, pull of force, ataupun uh, pulling force, and then transmitted to the tendon, okay, from muscle to the ulna. And then, at the same time, the bicep will relax. Then, uh, when the pull of force transmitted to the ulna, so ulna will pull downwards and threatening the arm. Okay, next, during walking. Okay, the muscle involved is calf muscle, okay, bicep femoris and quadricep. Okay, calf muscle, uh, otot betis bahagian belakang, okay, bicep femoris, uh, otot peha bawah, Dan kuadisep femoris Untuk pergi bahagian atas Okay, first uh, The right calf muscle Okay, kaki kanan The right, the right calf muscle contract Lifting the heel The ball of foot push against the ground okay, Maksudnya bila contract calf muscle Bahagian kaki kanan ni Kita punya tumit akan diangkat Okay, second At the same time Okay, bicep femoris iaitu bahagian otot peha, bahagian bawah akan contract. Bila contract, dia akan tarik kaki ke atas. Okay, bending the foot at the knee joint, the right. The right leg, leg is lift. <coughs> okay, third, as the right leg, leg lift the ground, okay, kita letakkan kaki kita ke bawah, the body weight is now supported by the left leg uh, which is still on the ground okay, masih kita meletak nak meletakkan kaki kanan ke atas tanah berat badan kita di apa, support oleh kaki kiri and then at the same time the quadricep muscle femoris uh, akan contract untuk straighten the leg, okay, kaki kita akan lurus next the tibialis contract ok, ni otot <coughs> bahagian bawah ni okay, tiabalis ni maksudnya bawah sikit pada calf muscle ok, contract and bring down the heel as the right heel touch the ground, the body weight is shift to the right leg sekarang ni bila kaki kiri diangkat kaki kanan akan touch the ground so sekarang body weight is supported by the right leg ok, the whole sequence is repeated by the left leg sama. Uh, dia akan pusing balik pada yang nombor satu Okay, uh, next, mechanism of locomotion in animal, fish. So, 
untuk fish karakteristik dia fish vertebral column is flexible can be moved from side to side by contraction and relaxation of myotong w shaped muscle segment okay this is the cross section of the uh, fish body okay this is the w shaped muscle segment okay Okay, uh, for the fish, the muscle involved is left myotome muscle and right myotome muscle. Okay, so the function of muscle, okay, must work in antagonistic, okay, act in opposite direction. This enable a fish to whip its tail, okay. When the left myotome contract, the right relax and the tail is whip to the left okay. echo akan swing kepada belah yang mana dia akan contract eh, bila belah kiri akan contract so dia akan swing kepada left okay. uh, when the right my to contract left to right so the tail lead to the right okay. alternating move, uh, wave of contraction and relaxation occur along the myotome so the, the action cause parts of the body to move from side to side, pushing water backwards and sideways is the fish forward. Okay, the fin uh, used to control the fish movement and direction. Okay, so this is the picture how the fish move. Okay, when the left myotome contract, okay, the right relax. Okay, okay, jadi bila yang belah contract ni dia akan bengkuk macam ni. Bila belah kiri contract, so ekor dia akan swing pada left. Manakala bila dia contract belah kanan, when the right mitral contract, the left relax. Okay, belah kanan pula yang akan bengkuk ke dalam. So, ekornya akan swing kepada right. So, the alternating movement uh, of myotome ni menyebabkan uh, ikan bergerak ke depan. Okay, pentingnya kat sini, the the tail ni dia akan swing uh, left to the right jadi dia akan produce uh, dia punya thrust lah okay. uh, forward thrust dia bagi eh? ikan akan bergerak ke depan ok next uh, movement in birds ok the action of large and strong antagonistic, antagonistic muscle on a bird chest Okay, uh, the name of the muscle is pectoralis major muscle and pectoralis minor muscle. Okay, uh, the blue one is the pectoralis major. Okay, the small one is minor. Okay, major besar, minor uh, kecil. Okay, this is the tendon. Okay, so uh, the birds involve uh, upstroke and downstroke. Okay, so yang ni pull down, eh, downstroke. Downstroke maksudnya Uh, sayap akan ditarik ke bawah lah. Eh? When the pectoralis major contract and pectoralis minor relax. Okay, major akan contract. So bila major contract sebab dia belah bawah, so dia akan pull down wing dia. Okay, manakala when the pectoralis minor pula contract, minor kat atas, so dia akan contract. Okay, pectoralis major akan relax, so the wing are pull up. Betul ni. Uh, di mana vice besar lah. Okay. Untuk earthworm, okay, the alternate contraction and relaxation of circular and longitudinal muscle result in wave of peristalsis along the body of earthworm. So, the name of muscle in a earthworm is circular muscle and longitudinal muscle. So, this is the location, the um, cross-section of the body of earthworm. Okay, this is the longitudinal muscle. This is circular muscle. Okay. Dia berlapis dua macam ni. Okay. So, the body wall the body wall has both longitudinal muscle and circular muscle. This muscle act antagonistic to cause movement. Uh, has a pair of kitty. Okay. Nanti di, di setiap segmen ni akan ada kitty. Eh. Uh, macam bunuh halus ni. Eh. Fluid in the body cavity help us want to move. So, dalam badan ni ada cecair. So, dia panggil hydrostatic skeleton. Okay. So, kita tengok eh. When the longitudinal muscle contract. 
Sikila masa relax. Okay, longitudinal masa ni otot yang memanjang ni. Bila otot memanjang ni contract, apa akan jadi? Okay, the earthworm body become shorter and thicker. Okay. Why? Ha, dia macam, jadi macam ni lah. Badan dia akan jadi uh, gemuk dan pendek. Okay. Apabila, when the circular muscle contract, circular ni otot yang keliling ni. Okay, otot keliling ni dia contract. Long into the muscle akan relax. So, badan dia akan jadi macam mana? Ha, badan dia akan jadi longer and thinner like this. Okay, so dia akan alternate lah kat sini. Okay. Kita tengok next slide. Okay, tengok eh. First, the posterior long into the, okay. Saya rasa ni silap eh. Uh, dalam kutex kan, eh, anterior Anterior long to the muscle contract Okay, ni badan dia gemuk kan Shorter and thicker Maksudnya, bila shorter and thicker Long to the muscle lah akan contract Sikila masa relax, jadi The body become shorter and thicker Okay, second, kitty Okay, this is kitty uh, At the posterior segment Anchor the ground Okay, okay kitty ni akan macam grip lah Tanah tu Okay, and the kitty at the anterior segment release Okay, yang yang bahagian yang inner ni dia akan dia tak grip lah tanah yang ni dia akan grip okay, third, the circular muscle at the anterior muscle contract and the lutea muscle relax ni alternative, uh, alternative way lah ok, yang ni pula long into the muscle relax ok, ok circular muscle yang contract ok, jadi uh, semua become longer, eh. dia start nak longer kat sini Okay, the anterior segment can extend forward. So, dia akan, uh, badan dia akan ke depan lah ni, bahagian ni. Okay, next, the kita on the anterior segment and ke the ground, body kita at the posterior segment release the whole. Okay, yang ni dia tengok kita bila dia badan dia thicker, dia akan grip. Kalau badan dia thinner, dia akan release. Okay, last one, the posterior segment which is the uh, which is shorten is pull to in front okay posterior ni this is anterior lah okay okay untuk grasshopper okay the muscle involved is extensor muscle and flexor muscle so antagonistic muscle of grasshopper that is flexor and extensor are attached to inner surface okay the flexor band Uh, a joint while the extensor straighten it okay. flexor ni untuk membengkukkan flexor masa akan membengkukkan gota okay. ataupun membengkukkan kaki dia kalau extensor akan meluruskan kaki muscular and long hind leg okay. ni dia punya karakteristik lah uh, dia punya kaki belakang mesti lah muscular and long ok, uh, adapted to jumping and flipping Okay, this is the extensor muscle. Okay, this is extensor muscle. Why this is flexor muscle? Okay, okay, extensor muscle. Okay, kalau yang ni untuk kaki dia jadi bentuk Z je ni. Okay, uh, extensor relax. Flexor akan contract. Eh? Bahagian flexor ni contract sebab flexor ni otot yang attach kat tulang ni. So, dia akan tarik tibia tu rapat. Manakala bila extensor contract, flexor relax. Extensor ni yang kat sini warna biru ni. Okay, dia akan menyebabkan dia akan tarik tibia tu ke atas ataupun straight. So, yang ni extensor. Macam dia macam, lebih kurang macam uh, bicep dan tricep jugalah. Okay, so kalau kat sini, kalau manusia, this is, uh, cuma manusia dia bengkok ke atas macam ni. Okay, yang ni macam ni. Okay. Okay, movement uh, grass over. Okay, masa dia duduk, at rest, the flexor on the hind leg contract. Okay, flexor akan contract, in flexor, contract and pulling the leg towards the body. In this position, the hind leg is folded into Z shape. Okay, dia akan uh, rapatkan kaki dia bentuk Z. Okay, dia ready for jump. Okay, kemudian bila dia nak jump, when the extensor, okay, extensor atas ni akan contract, so the hind leg is straightened. Okay, backwards. So, dia akan straightkan kaki dia untuk melompat. So, subsequently, the catapult light ejection. Eh, macam catapult light ejection. Okay. And the hind leg projects. Eh, the grass over forward and up into the air. Okay, dia mesti straightkan kaki dia. Supaya dia boleh melompat macam spring lah. 
Okey. Itu saja untuk slide kali ni. Okey kita sambung untuk slide 14.4 next. Okey thank you.